game's being casted, uh, when it's going on the permanent record, I guess you could say, of your career. Um, so far, Choi has not done that. He is staying a ladder guru for the time being. Let's see how he does, though, on King Sejong Station. An interesting map choice. Uh, this is the map that I like to call like the the all-in baiter. Like it's it's a map where crosses just have so many different ways they can attack, and so the Zerg we usually have to defend a timing attack, especially with a player like Choya. Yeah, he he that. might even go for a similar build to the last two games you saw. He seemed to feel like that one really worked. But if you're good at defending these, it's a good map pick. I I like it for that reason. All right, game number three is loaded up. Will True close this out, or will Troya get back onto the global stage here at the GSL? Down here to the bottom right in green. Yes. <laughs> True. It's, sometimes it comes in a lot faster than I think like, this season, so I'm like just not able to give a whole lot of backstory in this little intro. All, yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> His opponent in the upper left, old school, he is. Choya. You got that adjective in there. Second energy drink. There. Yeah. He picked one of those up on his way back from the bathroom. His chair is shaking. That's like the most indicative. You know, the thing for me is that if I, I actually, whenever I'm in a uh, tournament, granted I'm mostly casting now, but... I would actually be very careful to not drink that much coffee yeah. or, or, or anything caffeinated because, um, you know, for me, I, I, that would give me uh, stress and anxiety. Normally, I'm already hyped up enough on adrenaline that, you know, I mean, it, it, there's no need for me to have some additional thing to keep me awake. Yeah. For me, um, in these types of situations, whether it's sports or, or gaming, like, you know, internet sports, esports, um, I have to like make sure I get enough sleep. That's like really, really important. Because if I'm if I'm tired, I'm just like not mentally at my best. Well, it seems like anybody who's a, a serious gamer is gonna have sleep issues. I think that's due to the exposure of the computer screen. Yeah, it can mess up with your uh, your bio rhythm. Do you use this program called Flux uh, on your computer that like changes your screen brightness for your eyes? No. Uh, I should I should sh uh, show it to you. It's those of you who don't know, um, look it up. It's a program that will actually adjust the brightness of your monitor based on what time it is and what your eyes are supposed to be exposed to. And wow. I can't believe he got that. Uh, I can't believe he actually got that down there. Uh, this is going to be an interesting game. Yes, it will be. He's sending probes down here now. This is making things very complicated for Choya. What oh, True's really so... done this game is take the initiative here. Uh, Choya, who normally was dictating the, the rate at which the game would go, now is at the whims of True here. He has to get rid of his hatchery first before he can do anything else further. This is so mind gaming. I had a feeling he might do something like this when he picked this map. It's a good way to mess somebody up who's so geared towards these like very clearly specific yeah. timings because now he can't do exactly what he had planned. And Notice behind this, he takes gas before even a pool. So he goes double hatch before pool, and then takes gas before pool. But Choya hasn't even scouted. He has no idea what's going on on the other side of the map. So he can't punish for this. There will be a castle here in just a second. But uh, now speedlings are going to be coming out pretty soon when that spawning pool finishes. And Choya just has no information about this. And he's like, I feel, you know, sitting back here a bit cautious and defensive right now. And... There's no nothing to worry about just yet. Oh, okay, I like this. The two zealots coming across. Let's Interesting start to this game here. Uh, the Nexus Sorry. is coming down here. It's a little bit later. Yeah, I mean we have two base up and running now for True. Versus the uh, Nexus has only begun. Yeah, and uh, yeah, as you said, our uh, wolf very mind gamey. I mean, this is going to be pretty tricky here. Uh, for Choya to get back into that rhythm of the build. Now, he's going for the Twilight Council. Do you think there's a possibility he'll get some DTs here? Oh, or is think, he just going to go into... I think that's what he's going to do, actually. I think you're... Uh, yeah, I think Any you're Any right. other player, and I'd be like, no, this is weird timing. I don't know what he's going to do. But in this case, I think it's like almost 100% DTs. I think he looked at the success of the DTs last game. and Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, he looked at that and said, well, I mean, this did work very, very well. He's like, I, I think he's like, my opponent's pretty weak at multitasking against this. I, I think if I just actually babysit my DTs a little bit more, I can I can actually pull this off. The thing is also in this case, with how he's decided to open with double hatchery, which Choya knows, the lair is delayed and getting an overseer out is gonna be a difficult uh, problem. 
Oh, well, actually, he goes Blink. and uh, Okay, so he is going to go for Blink. Instead. I, see, I was thinking maybe DT is... Maybe, you know, because that other Nexus was a little bit later, he wouldn't be able to have enough gas there uh, to get that. But now the Ling's... Oh, by God. the way, speed finishing at the last second here, too. Letting all three of those Ling's get in here, and he will know exactly what is going on now as that Stalker is warped in. And Blink is the name of the strategy that Choi is going to use to try to do some damage early on here. Oh, it's so unfortunate for Choi that just gets scouted. It's going to be really easy for Trey to defend it now. He just needs to prepare links at home. He's going to have triple the con triple uh, hatchery to produce larva off of. That three three hatch larva production is going to give him some extra zerglings. Choi can't just cancel the plan either at this point. This this is too much of a commitment into Blink and all the chrono energy that he used and all the gas spent on this. You can't just go back and try to get out of it. It just doesn't work that way. Okay, uh, now Choi is out on the move here. Uh, he's not been chronoing that Blink, by the way, the entire time here. Now we see it being chronoed again here. Two more gates coming down. So pro This is, yeah, not uh, easy to transition out of. He's not been making probes for a little while now, so looks like he's going to stay on exactly 31 probes. Nope, now it's going to go up to 33. But I don't know if he's going to keep making those probes as he tries to push forward. Now, this is a lot of links, and here's the problem. Uh, you know, this is not going to be, the pylon's not going to be finished by the time that, um, <laughs> but, uh, and that pylon will not be finished in time. So uh, he's been driven all the way back here. And that and that means the timing that he had planned is just no longer... Yeah, it's not there anymore. It's not there anymore. It doesn't mean the game is over necessarily, but he's in a very bad spot. It's hard for him to actually figure out a way to get past this. Good control there. I mean, the best the best thing he can do in this situation like this is just basically control everything he has perfectly because any more mistakes or just going to further snowball the, the deficit that he has in this game. I don't even know what he's what he's got planned next. Yeah, this seems like a, a, a peculiar strategy here from Choya, and I think a lot of this was just triggered by that hatchery that was planted at that other, uh, the expansion location there. Uh, it seems like that, you know, um, threw a wrench into the gears of the Choya machine, yeah. and now he, you know, what, what, what could he come up with? He said, well, uh, maybe a blink all in, five gate blink all in. Yeah. And so far, it's not working. You know, one thing about this map is that counterattacking is very easy. It's true. I mean, Spores are going up because he's like, well, this caught me off guard last time. This army of Choya looks more like a pity band of stalkers that, I mean, these two are caught. This is no army. The Lings are an army. There are, I think, about to be well, 95 you know, of them. Yeah, I mean, the, the problem is there are just not enough Stalkers out here to to fight off a Ling army this big. Um, and again, you know, with the execution here, you got to be able to hold these locations. Now, uh, it really, the Stalkers can't even go all the way back home here. No matter what, this is going to be a failed attempt on all sides. I mean, one by one, blinking out of here with these Lings, they just resurround. You mean Meanwhile, recalls, here, they're going to kill them at home, you know? Yeah, like, I, I mean, this, this is completely and totally, everything's gone wrong right yeah. now. Now he's just going to fight in the mineral line here, kill that sentry. He's going to overwhelm these zealots. The stalkers are here, but there's not enough of them. They're all going to start dying, and even if somehow he holds this... GG, well. wow. Very straightforward game there. Uh, True, really taking the initiative there. This all started with that first hatch being planted the expansion. Choya, uh, who I think his greatest opponent is really himself. He's still a very talented player. Very well said. His I greatest feel, opponent is really himself. I feel that the nerves got the best of him. Yeah, and you know, he... He didn't have a lot of flexibility in his builds. When he tried to transition out of anything he did, it just all felt like totally thrown together. Um, yeah. Like when you're like scrambling to get that essay finished before like the due date, you know, and you're just like saying things that you don't even really think. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just like yeah. kind of pulling everything together. I felt like, especially in game three, it's kind of what we saw. He was like, oh wow, my next get delayed, I'm gonna do a blink stalker attack that doesn't really make sense, and I'm not even gonna try to deny your scouting very diligently. and. Rough, rough loss there. Did not quite work out. Um, well, Choi is not out of this yet. He's going to go to the losers match. We're going to go into our second best of three after this short break.